ladies and gentlemen. My name is Allison Cruz, and although we just narrowly escaped the clutches of a very mean and blind janitor, a cold wave sweeps over our hearts and souls, and we're about ready to enter the kitchen here on Little Nightmares, where we just barely managed to narrowly escape with but several lives lost. But that's okay. It's more or less to be expected in this game, especially those who have played and can understand the plight behind the certain game mechanics that go into this. If you need a point of reference, um, this essentially is uh, Little Big Planet. <laughs> so, yeah. This is where we just came from, and looks like we've got some more uh, corpses leading off into this direction, but also some empty hooks. So, I don't know about you guys, but maybe we should hitch a ride. That might be our next point forward. And make sure we don't let go under any circumstances, because as the camera ominously pans out. Oh, looks like someone's on a smoke break. Rude. Yeah. Um, not exactly looking forward to this next part of the game. It's a little rough, and also I don't feel like this is a good method of storing uh, perishable items as they were. But the hunger pangs have returned for a third time. So we're going to need to find something to eat really fast. Otherwise, well, we're just not going to be able to make much progress. You'd think maybe we'd be able to find something down here where all of this food is being laid out ahead of us, but it's a mousetrap. It's not very effective. Huh. Maybe we should talk to somebody about that. But as we head over here, we're desperate for food, and well, for whatever reason, this is what we're gonna get. <sighs> well, I will say, this is a wonderful theme that we've gotten ourselves into. Um, yeah, the escalation is getting higher and higher from here, so we've got all of these laundry bins filled to the brim with some strange, strange things inside. Now this part of the level, and I guess for the rest of the game, they're going to start using a lot more music, so yeah, prepare yourself for that because it gets a little intense sometimes. And there's a couple of points where it is really overbearing, it kind of sets the mood a little too harshly as it were. Now, before we move on here to the right side and into the blood-stained stairs to the right, uh, we're actually going to want to head down over here for our first collectible of the third chapter. Fortunately, we did not die there. And this is very odd, as well as <laughs> the foot physics. I love it. Also, the light's a little wonky, but step on it. <laughs> it's a shrine to the geisha. You might think that this might have some uh, relevance for us in the future, and well, it does. But for now, I just want to take it and be gone with it. Cool. Yeah, look at us. It's probably one of the closest camera angles we can get of our lovely protagonist. If you're playing with DLC, they actually do have a couple of uh, like hats or hoods that you can put on. Not really so much that as much as they are, you know, <laughs> sacks or teapots to put on your head, but I'm not going to worry with that it just it does it feels really out of place for the game and because you're already wearing a really vibrant yellow coat I don't know I was not a huge fan now we're gonna enter quite possibly one of the most annoying segments of this entire game and I'm not a fan and I and also I don't use that term lightly because there's quite a few so we're gonna go push this over here and hopefully not screw it up and um, you know there was a chance for us to have just waited a couple more minutes for our hunger pangs to go through because now we're in a pantry chock full of uh, what I'm assuming is fresh produce. So take your pick. Whatever you want to take here, um, we're going to need for something completely optional and time consuming. So I'm going to take this carrot because, well, I just want to carry something that will cut the bitterness of the salad we're about to create because... We have a new friend. Be very careful. Because the chef's in. And 
He's gonna be our new best friend for the next 30 minutes. <laughs> okay, so once he faces away, let's go this way. And be careful, you want to crawl as much as possible. Alright, he's gonna see me, isn't he? This guy has super human senses. He'll be able to see you no matter what. But he's got a ton of things over here and... There, yeah, he saw me. Just out of the corner of his eye. Okay, I'm just gonna go and run over here. That thing that he dropped is very important. And actually, remember where I just crouched? That is your safest point. Throw this into the stew and hope he doesn't come from the south. Okay, this is fine as I'm crouching. Okay, that sausage he just dropped, I want it. Whoops. Might not have noticed. Alright, please go around. Please, not this way. Uh oh. Where are you going? Where are you going? You do not want him to catch you. Because anything he finds, he's gonna throw into the pot. And it's actually really funny because if you get caught, she'll actually do like a cannonball into the pot and it'll, it'll be dead. Yeah, some of his animations are a little bit broken. I might need to lure him away. Because if he stays like this, it's gonna be kind of obnoxious. He'll go up there, where he's right now, and then I'll go to this pot. The main objective... Oh. Excuse you, sir. Maybe you should have taken the day off. As he's wearing <laughs> pink slippers. Um, yeah. He's just gonna go back and forth up there. Alright, I'm gonna have to use myself as bait. Maybe. Can I do this? Here, let's try it. I just want to be really careful. Nope! Oh, no. I screwed up. Alright, well, let me grab this then. <laughs> This isn't good. Not what I wanted to have happen. Um, fish head on the floor will go great with my stew. Um, okay, this is actually okay. Let me just... There you go. Why did she miss there? Ah, now I need to grab something else. This cheese will make a fine element. Oh, shoot. Ah, this isn't what I wanted to have happen! This is fine. This is fine. I'm okay with this. Give me the... Ah, he's not, she's not picking up the cheese, man. I hate this. Okay. This is not what I wanted to have happen either. All I want is the cheese, man. There we go. Okay. Oh my god. It's so nerve-wracking. I hate it. But three different ingredients is all you need to put into the stew. <sighs> yeah, go sulk away. I'm not there. Also, the outlines of his ass are very prevalent in that apron. Okay, we should be okay. You might not think so, but we very well may be. Alright, here we go. Why did you- why is she missing? You're not even allowed to throw it up that high. Oh, this is great. Um. We got the carrot, and we got the fish head. All I wanted was some cheese. Shoot. I mean, there's plenty of things around, but still. Whoops. Maybe I shouldn't have <laughs> worn the yellow rain jacket. Damn. I wonder if I can throw wine in there. Make a nice little balsamic reduction. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and season that fish, man. Shit, alright. Well, I might need to just reset. Or run and grab some more. This is no good. This is no good. I hate this. <laughs> I hate this so much. <sighs> Do not get caught by him. There are many opportunities later. Oh, are you just gonna go back to cutting? Uh oh. Okay. Good god. Good god. Okay, this is too dangerous. Um. Later, nerd. Okay. Um. All I want is this sausage in there. I can't reach it. Okay. Um. Shoot. 
there should be more food around here. We could go back to the pantry, but man, that is just, it's a bummer, man. Here, let's do this. Let's go crazy. I can put this in there. More fish. Fish broth. Did that... Nope. Fish are... Fish counts as fish, even if it's a head. Oh no, there we go. I got it. So, by putting three ingredients in there. Divine beast. Will feast. Shit. I hate it. Dude, dude. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Yeah, you go check that stove. See you later. Uh oh. Is he, are you stuck? You very well may be. Anyways, here's another lamp, in case you really wanted it. Go away! <laughs> yeah, you can't get me from here, you jerk. Now this part. Don't like it. <laughs> oh, I just really want to get her! Alright, let's be very careful. Oh, there's more food up here. Oh my god. I hope I didn't break the game. What is over there? <laughs> oh, I'll get you. Here, have some more paprika. <laughs> I wonder if I could actually throw it on him. Okay, perspective here is kind of weird, and for whatever reason, the music is still playing, so... Sorry if that kind of kills the immersion slightly. Yeah, he's trying to reach me. I just want to go slowly and not fall off. Because I think the checkpoint would start us over at the beginning, but we wouldn't have to make the stew again, so I'm not too worried about that. Anyways, let's get out of here. This is a great place to put your fish, man. <sighs> that is just always nerve-wracking. I hate it. And also one of my favorite images in this entire game is that of two toilets right up against each other. And it doesn't appear that there's much here, although I think we should probably put on some of this incense, just to be on the safe side. So, we've seen one chef, but two toilets. No privacy, no toilet paper, also no sink. So this is where things are going to start getting a little more hectic, if you can believe it. Oh, it's my little gnome buddy! Hey friend, come back here, can I please have a hug? I just had to eat a rat, and I'm not feeling too great about that. Because not only was it raw, but we're also... Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. I think I I think I broke the game. I, I thought you couldn't wake him up. I thought you could be as loud as you possibly wanted to and you would not be able to wake him. Okay. Um <laughs> I couldn't remember where to get that gnome, but I think I remember now. Anyways, there actually would be a little night light here to kind of indicate that, well, you got a key. So let's grab it. Let's shim it off. Can I There we go. And the noise of the key falling would be the thing that woke him up. And I was going to be really confused why that noise would cause him to wake up, but not the key. Or the key, but not me jumping around. So maybe my game just glitched or something. Um, also, I'm not sure what is up here. This is a red herring, and um, you could maybe try to knock something on his head. <laughs> kind of a funny way to wake him up. Just... Oh, okay. Also, trip. We're kittens. Alright, yeah, there's just nothing here. There's a light, just cans, and a box. No dolls, nothing. But I do like this, <laughs> this, whoa, falling animation. The picture of the two, just kind of together. 
as well they sleep together and there's a giant mess here. Alright, I'm gonna take this. Let's go. Be prepared to carry a lot of keys back to certain areas because, well, <laughs> that's just something you're gonna have to do often. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave this right here because you might have missed it, but we did pass a locked door. And that was right in front of that white cabinet that we had to climb up back in the kitchen. The music makes me nervous. However, if we return back here, it looks like our friend decided that, well, he needed some alone time. Thank you so much. Oh, I love me some gnome hugs. Where did you go? Don't hide back there. It's filthy. <laughs> okay, we're fine. So, two chefs now on the run. And we need to go through here. So, let's go and activate this. And head on downstairs. This one I'm not looking forward to either, so be prepared to crouch. And <gasps> another gnome. Alright, I'm just gonna sneak on over here. Because, well, we're back in the pantry. And what I'm going to do is, somehow he managed to pickle himself into a jar. So I'm gonna leave this right here for the time being. Uh oh, did he hear me? Because he has the ears of a hawk. Good god, he's coming. Oh, it's just the gnome I pickled. Huh. Well, I guess I'll get him later. 